Ukrainians can't protect their most vulnerable airfields from Russian attacks. Forbes. The crisis of Ukrainian air defense is deepening and will continue until the Ukrainians start shooting down Russian reconnaissance drones flying over their air bases. As Forbes admitted in such a situation, the Air Force will continue to lose military aircraft, which will not be easy to replace. The publication noted that this state of affairs should worry the Ukrainian command. Journalists recalled that on the 1st of July, a Russian drone spotted six Ukrainian Air Force Su-27 fighters standing in broad daylight on the runway of the Mirgorod Air Base. After that, a Russian missile flew at them, destroying two precious supersonic fighters. On July the 3rd, something similar happened. A Russian drone flew over the Ukrainian Air Base in Poltava. After several hours of observation, an Iskander missile struck, damaging, if not destroying, a Ukrainian Army Mi-24 combat helicopter. The publication reported, and the occupiers attacked the Dolgint Sevo Air Base near Krivoy Rog. A drone scanned the base and three missiles fell on it. Video footage from Russian drones confirms the destruction of two aircraft. One was an Su-25 decoy aircraft, the other was an active MiG-29 fighter. In total, two Su-27s, three MiG-29s, an Su-25 and possibly an Mi-24 have been disabled as a result of Russian raids on Ukrainian airfields since the fall. This is an unacceptable level of losses for the armed forces, which have fewer than 100 combat aircraft, the publication estimated. The problem is that the F-16s and Mirages will also be vulnerable to Russian drone and missile strikes while they are parked in the open in broad daylight, the journalists state. This is an air defense crisis. Usually, the Ukrainians protect their most important bases with the surface-to-air missiles, but the Air Force and Army can hardly simultaneously cover cities, large troop concentrations and frontline bases such as the airfields of Mirgorod, Poltava and Dolgintsevo. The publication writes, It is obvious that by prioritizing the defense of cities, the Ukrainian armed forces left airfields less protected. The Russian drone that was observing Poltava was visible to ordinary Ukrainians on the ground for three hours before it was hit by an Iskander missile. It is clear that no one had the opportunity to shoot it down, the journalists stated. Trump discusses possibility of ceding part of Ukraine to Putin. Candidate for the US President Donald Trump is discussing the possibility of ceding part of Ukraine's territory to Russian Vladimir Putin to quickly end the war, informs Politico. The media notes that the desire to quickly resolve the conflict likely plays a key role in Trump's plans regarding NATO and the fate of Ukrainian territories. The presumptive GOP nominee is mulling a deal whereby NATO commits to no further eastward expansion, specifically into Ukraine and Georgia, and negotiates with Russian President Vladimir Putin over how much Ukrainian territory Moscow can keep, two national security experts who support Trump told. In the same Politico article, it was noted that if Trump wins the US presidential election, the North Atlantic Alliance expects a radical reorientation. Earlier, it was reported on what Trump's plan to end the war in Ukraine looks like. In particular, it involves pressuring Kyiv to make concessions to Moscow. According to the Washington Post, people familiar with Trump's plan say that he said in a private conversation that he could end Russia's war against Ukraine by pressuring Kyiv to give up certain territory. Thus, Trump's idea is to push Ukraine to hand over Crimea and Donbass to Russian control, according to people who have discussed the issue with Trump and his advisers on condition of anonymity. According to the Washington Post, Trump said that he believes both Russia and Ukraine want to save face, want a way out, and that people in some parts of Ukraine would agree to be part of Russia. According to people who were at the meeting, former Trump White House aide Michael Anton described the expected outlines of the plans as Ukraine ceding the territories of Crimea and Donbass, limiting NATO expansion and encouraging Putin to reduce his growing dependence on China.